Hey there everyone, Mel Abraham here. I'm actually trying to go live for the first time going live both on Facebook and on um, Instagram. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, love love testing technology, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So here's the question for you today. I, I'm, I've been going live on my Facebook page regularly the last couple of days because of what we're all going through and where we're at. And, uh, and so, um, you know, what I'm really looking at is just having conversations around what's going on in our in our world today and what's going on in your world. How is it how is it impacting you? What's going on? And I and I think one of the key elements is how do we transition or how do we transcend this? How do we move beyond this? Uh, and the here's the theme for today is this idea that what we focus on grows. The reality is that there's a lot of people that are focused in on the panic they're spending their days because now they're we're, we're quarantined we're confined we're in a small space we get to we get to stay home the kids are home and so what do we do we turn on the tv and we watch the media and we watch the news and what are they filling our heads with and what are they telling us and it's all about coronavirus and the outbreak and yes we want to stay informed but at some point we need to start looking beyond this at some point we, we need to stop the flow of information that's going into our head with, the, with what is going on around us and start to ask ourselves what we can do about it. Because there are things that are out of our control. The coronavirus, to uh, the, a great extent right now, it, personally, it's out of my control. I can't do anything about it. I can't solve it. Listen, there are greater minds than mine that are... Uh, that are dealing with this whole coronavirus, scientific minds. We've got the best minds in the world working on it. I can't help, and I am certainly not helping when I start to contribute to the panic and the hysteria that's out there. And then I look at my my world, and I start to look around me and say, am I helping my wife? Am I helping my kids? Am I helping the, the people that I love uh, around me by doing by being panicked by being fearful by being that and the answer is probably not now the fear the fear is is good because it has a message in it and that message is what we need to focus in on what's it telling us to do what's it telling us to prepare for what's it telling us to to really get in place because this isn't this is an opportunity for us to really start to look at how we do things what we're doing with things what's next for us, and what we're going to focus in on. We have the ability, if I can't control the, the whole uh, thing with the coronavirus, I can't control the stock market, I can't control any of that, but I can control how I respond to it. I can control what it is that I do with it. I can control whether I'm going to panic, whether I'm going to invest, whether I'm going to keep doing business, whether I'm going to keep serving, whether I'm going to keep doing the things that I should be doing. And, uh, and hey, hey, Evan, it's good to see you, my friend. Um, so, so that's the thing that I want us to look at and say, what are the things that we're focusing in on? Are those things that we can't control? And if there are things that we can't control, why are we focusing in on them? Because they're going to grow in our lives and we can't control it. Instead... We ought to ask ourselves, what are the things that are within our control? Well, what's in our control is how we show up each and every day, how we relate each and every day, how we in this time of confinement or this time of quarantine and this time of, of siloing, how we connect each and every day. And look at that because that we can control, because that we can show up, because that we can make a difference and, and people are are struggling and when you reach out to them and you make that connection and it's from the heart and it's from from the soul and you have the conversation with them they get it they feel it and now you've made a ripple effect what other things can you control well i know that there's a lot of people that are fearful about money they're fearful about their job they're fearful about all of those things and they're trying to start making decisions well the, the worst place to make a decision from is in a panic state. The higher your emotions, the lower your intellect, okay? I hate to say it. When we start to make emotional um, decisions, the decisions that we make are probably not good ones. So what we need to do is start to strip away the emotions. When we start to make money decisions from panic, we turn dollars into pennies. It's true. 
But when we make money decisions from principles and patience, we turn pennies into dollars. So as you look at your investments, you might be saying, I, you know, I got debt, I got this, I got, I, I got investments, I get invest, I'm losing money, the market's down another 2,000 points today. Oh my God, the world's ending. The world's not ending. Let's just, let's get that clear. The world's not ending. This will pass. We will get through it. Um, and on the other side, the question is, who have you become through See, we can choose to say, let me use the pressure that I'm under to find new ways to make money, to find new ways to serve, to find new ways to make a difference in society. Or we can use this time to struggle and to, to curl up in the, in, in the corner in a fetal position and, and not do anything. So I think my belief and my invitation to you is that you look forward. Because trying to figure out why this is happening in the past isn't going to work. We can look at what caused it, we can look at, at how it got here, but the question is what meaning will you make it in the future? And, and I learned this lesson, I'm still learning this lesson. I've learned it from my, from my, my battle with cancer. Uh, when I first was diagnosed in June of last year, I struggled. I struggled with the why. I struggled how. I took care of myself. I thought I did all the things that you should do and this should never have happened. How did this happen? Why is this happening to me? And then I realized that the why wasn't behind me. The why was in front of me that the cancer needed to mean something and the way it was gonna mean something is in only if I made it mean something. This journey that we're on, the coronavirus, whether the market is up and down, whether you're happy to, to see that maybe your, your livelihood, your job is in jeopardy, your, um, your income, your money is in jeopardy, the meaning of that, the why is in the future. It's what you do with it. Look. I've not done everything right. I've made my share of mistakes. I've lost a lot of money in bad decisions. Now I've made a fair amount of money too to, to make up for it, but I made some bad decisions, so I'm not perfect. And the, and the thing that I know that got me through it was always looking inside and saying, what's the lesson here? What can I do differently? What can I make sure that I do now that I make sure that it doesn't happen again? Um, so whether you're in a position of, I don't have enough savings and I should have prepared, the thing that I don't want you to do is beating yourself up and saying, I should have done this, I should have done this. If you find yourself asking, your, saying, the, saying the statement to you, I should have done this, we should have done this, we should have made these. Look, there's a whole lot of should have's that I should have done. But I can't do anything about it sitting here now. So the question is, not what should you have done. The question is, what are you going to do about your money, about your relationships, about your health? Listen, once I got diagnosed with cancer, we completely changed it. And I had a healthy diet, I thought. But we completely revamped it. We completely changed it. We completely changed our lifestyle. It was about what we were going to do from that point forward. Question for you is, what are you going to do from this point forward? We're siloed. We have an opportunity to stay focused on the things that move us forward. This is your time to skill build. This is your time to learn more. This is your time to, to go reflective. This is your time to maybe take a pivot and make a pivot and say, this is what I want to do in life. This is different. And start asking yourself, how do I make that happen? How do I make that pivot? Look, we're, we have a live event with well over a hundred people that we were supposed to do in April. And, uh, we had to pivot, we had to pivot quickly and we've made it a, 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 um, a virtual event. We're running it virtually and we're gonna do it and we're gonna bring everyone in virtually and we're gonna run this event. I've never done it before in my life. This is gonna be a learning experience. 90% of it's probably gonna be right. 10%, it's gonna be a lot of lessons, but we're gonna have fun doing it because we're, we're there to serve and, and do, do that. So here's the thing, take the time for yourself today and ask yourself, 
What does this look like in the future? What can you do today with the things you can control and what are the things that you can focus in on? One. Two, what are you grateful for now in the future? Three, what skills do you need to develop that now seem to be highlighted that you may not have and so you can take the time because now you're siloed and everything to start developing, whether it's doing it online or, or uh, ordering a book or something. Maybe you're sitting back saying, I gotta learn more about the stock market. So order some books and start reading. Maybe it's, I wanna learn a better skill about marketing or uh, stuff online, how do I do that? Order a book, take some training, watch some YouTube videos. We got a lot at our fingertips right now and this is your time to grow. Diamonds are made with pressure. Your future is gonna be made with the pressure that's on you right now. This, as chaotic and as crazy as this time is, is a great time for growth for you. It just depends on what you focus in on. Listen, if there's things that I can do to help you, if there's things that I can do to serve you, if there's things that I can support you in this journey, that's why I'm doing these lives, is to answer those questions, to move you forward, to keep you focused on, on, the, on the, the, the future and the brightness of it, because it is bright. We are, uh, we are a country, we are a world, we are a society, we are a humanity that endures. We will endure this too. We will find a new way. Now, life on the other side of that may not be the same. It will likely not be the same because of the lessons we learned. And so let's grow with this and let's grow together. Let's find the way through it and let's, let's persevere. That's what humanity does. And so for me, um, I'm going to be out, I'm going to be live to, today uh, speaking uh, shortly in 30 minutes. Uh, so, but I wanted to jump in here first to, to test this out and figure out, can I do Facebook and Instagram? And I think I've done it. So, uh, uh, but if you have questions, if there's anything, comments, leave them below. Let's, let's keep the dialogue going and whatever I can do to instill a little bit of calm a little bit of a positive vision, and a little bit of a hope, that's what I wanna do. Things about your money, things about your wealth, things about your future, your business, let's get them answered. Let's take that, that distraction off the table so you can focus on the positive, all right? So in the meantime, until the next time, you, you keep, keep healthy, you keep safe, you keep pointing forward, you keep focused on the positive, and you keep, keep doing the right thing. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of the people you love because they matter the most and everything else will work out in the long run. Cheers to y'all. You have the best, best day. See ya.